And hello again. We're going to be doing part two of uh, radioactivity and how we can look at a sample and by measuring its rate of decay and the change of its rate of decay, we'll be able to calculate the uh, half-life of that substance. So let's take a look at the problem and then we'll start analyzing it. We have some uh, an isotope of sodium and it gives off beta and gamma radiation. We have a Geiger counter that can detect the activity and we know that after four hours the activity has gone down by 17 percent and we're supposed to find the half-life of this particular isotope. Now in part one, I'm just going to do a real quick little review, we learned this. We learned that the change in the amount of the substance with relationship to time is a nice little differential equation that can be solved and we get the formula that we had. If you need time to review, just pause this and when you're ready, just restart it again. Now there's an interesting correlation that I'm going to show you between the amount of a substance and the activity of the same substance. Now here we go. I'm going to use A for activity. Some books use R. That's fine. If your book has R, just use that. Now, the fun thing here is this. And some of you can see it right away. If not, I'll, I'll go ahead and take the next step. But you may have seen this before and here it is rearranged the way it, that it's absolutely obvious where have you seen that before oh yeah that was in part one so we already know how to solve this and we all already know that what we're going to get with the exception of the a naught instead of the n naught we're going to get the same equation the same curve we're going to have something that is very easy to use and depending on where you start you'll be able to analyze it really easily so let's let's do that here's our problem again and here I have put in uh, the 83 uh, percent of what's left that's that's when the activity has gone down by 17 percent that means that we have 83 percent of the substance left so you can see that we're going to hitch a ride on this curve and then just follow it down to the point that, that we need. And we'll be doing just a little algebra to get down there. See, this is the four hours right here, that point. And then we're, we're going to try and get to the half-life. So let's see what we can do. There's a couple things we're going to need to learn or, or get before we can do this. Um, in the green box, this is the formula we'll use to find uh, the lambda. Once we have the lambda, then we'll use this one to get the half-life. Now in the blue box, that's the stuff that's given. That's what we know already. Uh, we know that it took four hours. We know that it's down to 83% because it, it, if it, something's reduced by 17%, you have 83% left. So. Let's go ahead and take the next step then. Okay, we put in to this equation here, that's right there. We know that we have 83% of what we started with, this is what we started with, and now we have 83% of that. And it's, again, you've probably seen things like this before, it's really nice when we have the same thing on each side because these are going to divide out. And when they do that, the next step is even easier. So now it's divided out, and you can see that we have something very easy to fix. Since math C, you've been able to do that. You know that if you take the natural log of e to the power of something, that you can just bring the, the power down there. So this is, this is just a math C exercise now. And when we do that, lambda just falls right out. Here it is. That's one of the things that we need to solve the equation because you see we needed lambda ln2 is just a number and we want that so now in one fell swoop 
we'll get that done. Here is the equation. I brought it down from the green so you can see which one we're doing. And I rearrange it so that we have the half time there. Half life, sorry, half time, football. <laughs> My bad. Uh, the, the kind of red color here I did so that you can see that we start off with the green, that's the base equation. We rearrange it so that we have the half life on the left. And then after we run it through our calculator, we get the actual number, which is this. And so our answer is just 14.9 hours.